Well, we have evidence of the Red Bull team store selling that sweet, sweet, messy merchandise. Herc, you got a problem with this? I don't. No, listen, at the end of the day, there. Oh, please. Well, hold on. Small club mentality. This is weak. If there are any Red Bull fans, I don't know how many of them are. They surely must be just absolutely disappointed in this. Come on, Herc. Well, hold on. Let me finish, all right? It, it's a completely outfitted uh, league by Adidas. He is an Adidas athlete. I don't know what mandates there are. Uh, but this, to me, isn't as bad um, as some of the things we're going to see. Okay. You're right. Uh, if that wasn't bad enough, let's check the mentions. Uh, because this is from Mark Fishkin, who is kind of like a day one Red Bull fan. He's got a podcast, uh, the Seeing Red podcast. As a DC United fan, I would never listen to it. But if you like the Red Bulls, I suggest listening to it. Because Mark Mark has been around a long time. I follow him on Twitter, uh, or whatever, X, whatever we call it now. Uh, and he is a great follow. He's expressing some frustrations here, Herc. A list of... I don't know, what is it, over 35 reasons why the New York Red Bulls are uh, not able to sell out Red Bull Arena unless Lionel Messi shows up. There are some obvious ones on there, like where the stadium is located, the fact that the team is named after an energy drink. Any other stand out to you? Yeah, I don't want to support a team that's a feeder, like pr pretty much a feeder farm team mm -hmm. for these Euro clubs, things like that. Um, it's just in response to a conversation I had on Twitter on why, when's the last time you saw Red Bull Arena that full? And I was trying to rack my brain thinking about it. And somebody questioned it, well, what's that tournament they play? What's that uh, classical they play, that rivalry game they play? Uh, Red River? Hudson? What's it called? Red River, what's the Hudson called? River Derby, Hudson yes. Red, uh, Hudson mm -hmm. River, yes, excuse me. And it was the Red Wedding was one of their famous games, right? I don't know if that was the last time we saw full. I don't even know if then, we saw it full in their rivalry game. I don't think we, I don't recall. When the U.S. lost to Costa Rica and qualifying for the 2018 World Cup, it was full. Well, so it's either Gu Costa Rica or Messi shows up and you can sell well, out Red Guatemala, Bull Arena. Guatemala filled it up and we've seen Central American teams in Gold Cup fill it up. I'm talking about for so their So then it's games. not location, then it's the brand. Then it's the brand, Herc. Well, it could also be location because as our good friend uh, Mark pointed out, it, it's a hell, it's a hell hole to get in and out of um, and it's not like public transportation has has the ways to get there. But listen, there, there's no excuse for what we saw. Uh, I mean, was there any Red Bull fans in attendance? It's all, all I see is pink in this park. Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Hey, listen, I've seen some some pretty lame things in, in Major League Soccer trying to sell their product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this being one of them, you just went out and catered to Inter Miami, to Messi. You wanted to see this place full. You didn't want to have Red Bull be a fortress for the New York Red Bulls. You didn't want to have your team um, play your brand in front of your people and win your way. Uh, it, it, this is almost as lame as the New England Revolution ticket sales department, you know, emailing the potential ticket buyers, come watch Messi score in our club, you know, mm -hmm. in Gillette Stadium. Or it, it, it's, it's lame. It's lame. Is it the place they play, the location? Is it the team? Is it the mentality? Is it that they don't win? Is it that they're not good? Is it a combination of all these things? Could yeah. be, but it's a terrible look. I mean, is it the league? Because I think we also, we can, we can really rain down on the Red Bulls here because they're the flavor of the week. But MLS teams being irrelevant in big cities is not new, unique to the New York Red Bulls. It's not even unique to them in New York. New York City FC, what, they started drawing 30, 35,000 their first year. They're down to less than half of that now. Uh, LA Galaxy are headed towards irrelevance in their city. Chicago's irrelevant in their city. FC Dallas irrelevant in their city. Philadelphia, they think they're what? They're, the union are construction workers in their city. I, I'll even say it in my city. In DC, DC United is irrelevant in their city. So it's not unique to the New York Red Bulls that they can't, that they can't draw interest in a major city here. We, we can't just point at them as the lone, the lone team in Major League Soccer. Yeah, but the Red Bull's a massive brand, right? And it's a massive uh, market. Not, not in American soccer. Hold on. Please. Hold the on. The New York Cosmos are a, are a massive brand. Well, let me finish what I'm saying, Sebby. It's, it's a massive brand it's in a, a massive drink. market. And they've brought in major players before. And in fact, like they're probably not good right now, but when's the last time they didn't make playoffs? They've been consistent, if anything. Like, some of those markets have not had that. They've had this. 
I, I don't know what to tell you. Yep. You know, I, it's, it's, a, it's an enigma to me, even when back in the MetroStar days. It, it's a great market, great footballing market. It, U.S. soccer, all the coaches that have ever coached U.S. soccer have come out of that market. So I don't know. I don't know to tell you the truth. It's got rich soccer history. I don't know why people don't come out. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.